What up, YouTube? It's your boy T Dog back with another video, and I'm out here, kind of sort in the middle of nowhere. Not really. I know this road. It's uh, it's actually a really cool secret kind of road that me and my boys would drive or ride down here every now and then to uh, you know, we call it the Southern Toge because it's such a nice road, and you know, Houston has nothing but straight roads, so. We, we take what we can get down here when it comes to, you know, turny, twisty, curvy roads. But anyways, if you could tell by the title, this video is going to be me revealing what I got. In case you uh, uh, don't know what I'm talking about, a while back I sold the ZX6R, like I explained why and all that, and I used that money to get something else. It might be a surprise to some people, it might not, I don't know. I'm not going to drag this out, because I want to talk about it a little bit in this video. Anyways, without further ado... Here she is. folks it is a 2003 Acura RSX Type S people outside of America might know it as a Honda Integra or a DC5 if you're talking about chassis you know what let's uh let's go and sit inside the car I have to admit I've actually had this car for about a few weeks now it, about a week after I sold the ZX6R I found this and bought it at this point in the video, I'm going to explain why a car, and why specifically this car. What are the what are the plans for this car, and what does it mean for my channel? I wanted to go back to one bike, like I explained in my last video, but also I've had a, a lot of motivation and inspiration to get back into cars. Some of y'all that's known me since the beginning, I've explained before that I'm also, other than motorcycles, I've always loved cars. I've actually loved cars more than motorcycles and, and, and trucks and whatnot. But I got out of the car scene, you know, because I wasn't feeling it at the, anymore, you know, at the time. I just didn't like how the car scene was. But I've recently had inspiration to uh, get back into the car scene, especially Honda. Because Honda's, the, their cars, and also their bikes, but to their cars to a further extent, personally, to me in my personal life, I have had a soft spot for Honda cars. like. A lot of people make fun of them and you know they're not the fastest things in the in the world or anything but you know they're reliable they're affordable they're easy to mod to build you know they're fun to drive too like whether you have an s2000 you know a civic eg ek whatever si or the new type Ooh. r civic honda just knows how to make a fun driving car but yeah so i wanted to get back into cars to specifically get back into hondas now originally when I was looking for a, a uh, Honda car, I was originally looking for Honda Civics, specifically the EG or EK Gen, specifically their hatches but also their coupes and perhaps maybe an EK9. A lot of you bike people that, that, that follow me, that you know follow me for the whole bike content, prob this is all probably going over your head but you know I'll, I'll, I'll get around to explaining all these eventually. A Honda S2000 would have been nice too, but those things go for a premium these days, unless you get a really clapped out one, and I didn't want that. Plus, my first car was a Honda Civic, a uh, 2000 Honda Civic uh, Coupe. It was a DX model, no power windows, and it was an automatic. It wasn't anything special, but I loved that car. That was my first car I, I've ever had, and I loved how, how, it, how nimble it handled. It was dead reliable. It never, never let me down, despite how much I abused it and I feel really bad that I did and eventually karma caught up and someone stole it 
from me one night, you know, over in a, when I was stationed in Southern California and I was spending some time with family and I never saw it again. I think CHP, California Highway Patrol, found it at one, uh, eventually, but it was, it was pretty much a destroyed car and I felt so bad about it, but you know, I moved on after that. I'm, I'm actually, I say moved on, but till this day, I'm still, I'm, I'm still not over it. Okay, I'm, I'll admit, I'm still not over it. <sighs> So I was looking for a Civic because that's what I knew, you know? Um, I actually have a little bit of a soft spot too for front wheel drive cars. A lot of people kind of questioned, you know, why not get an S2000 or, you know, a Miata, something like a proper sports car. Uh, front engine, rear wheel drive. And those cars are great. I mean, I like them. I actually was looking at Miatas too at one point and S2000, which, you know, that, that idea went out the window when I saw prices. From all the cars I've owned, that they were, they've always been front wheel drive I just know front wheel drive cars you know like I know their handling characteristics for them in general generally speaking and I solely truly believe that even front wheel drive front engine cars can be fun to drive and can be competitive you know in motorsports and it's been proven time and time again I was pretty dead set on getting a Honda front wheel drive car so I was looking at Civics and then one day I was like you know what Back in high school, I really wanted the Acura RSX. So I started looking into those, specifically the Type S, because they come with a six gear transmission rather than a five engine. The K20, the K20A2 in the Type S has more power and torque than the base model. By all means, the, the Type S is the one to get if you're looking for an RSX. It kind of jumped to the top of my want list because the K20 motor in it is, re is revered in the car in the car community especially the honda community a lot of people who have cars that didn't come with k20s at one point will swap k20s or K, uh, k24s into their into uh, their cars a lot of I have, my friend steve you, you've seen, you guys have seen him on the on the channel before uh in his s2000 he's he's a honda guy you know he's all a, he, he's a car guy but especially a honda guy and uh and he's told me like <laughs> the k the k series motor from honda is like the ls of the four cylinder world. These came from the factory with them. So, you know, I like that. They came with manual transmissions, which I liked. You know, it's a coupe. I like coupes. Um, front wheel drive, that's what I was looking for. So, you know, it was it was kind of like a no brainer kind of thing. I found this for, you know, really cheap price. This specific specimen is pretty good condition considering the age. Uh, it's actually just about stock, which is, you know, except for the exhaust and the cold air intake, which there, I'll change those out. I'll get into that in another video. Other than that, it's more or less stock. The wheels, the suspension, um, and now if you noticed in the reveal, the front bumper's different. I'll get into that in another video. So what are the plans for this car and for the channel? And what does that mean for, you know, the channel and all that? Well, the down and dirty is, I wanna start going, doing track. Building a car and doing track was actually a dream of mine back when I was a kid never happened because I never had the motivation, inspiration, or, you know, means to actually do it. But now I'm like, you know, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it! Let's accomplish something that I wanted to do as a kid. Kind of like when I got my motorcycle license, you know? Like, I wanted a motorcycle license when I was a kid. I wanted to get a motorcycle, so I did that. So let's, let's go to the next step. I've always wanted to make a track car and go track and all this stuff, so let's do it, you know? And I, I finally got a, a car that I wanted even back then as a kid too, so it's like, it's all coming full circle, you know? As of right now, since it's pretty much stock, it's gonna be a slow build, so that means this channel of mine, Real T-Dog, is gonna be more than just motorcycles. It's gonna be about cars too, and especially this car, but cars in general. Surprise! <laughs> the Real T-Dog is gonna be focusing on bikes and cars now, so... <laughs> that's what I was alluding at in my last video about, like, you know, plans for the channel and stuff. My friends that I mentioned, Steve, he cracked his S2000 for the first time after, you know, putting it off for a while, earlier in the year, and he was humbled. He was, you know, ecstatic that he accomplished that because he's always wanted to do it, but he kept putting it off and then, you know, finally did it. That's actually one of the reasons why it inspired me because he did something that I wanted to do as a kid too, and so I'm gonna go for it. So other than the Vulcan and bike-related content, y'all will see me modify and, you know, upgrade this car and then eventually go to, you know, do track days or track events. Steve was telling me, towards the end of this year around, you know, 
October, November area. There's gonna be a lot of track events here in, you know, locally in Houston. The goal this summer is to get this car more or less ready. As it is now, I could probably track it and it'll be fine. I mean, it's my, I, I don't have track experience, so it's not like I will be pushing it to its limits or past its limits because I don't even know what its limits are. I don't know my limits, you know, all that stuff. But, you know, regardless, there are gonna be upgrades and mods and whatnot that I will deem as necessary for it to be more, you know, competent when it comes to performance driving. So this whole summer, that's the goal, I'm gonna be uh, make sure maintenance wise it's good. I wanna do some suspension stuff. I wanna fix the exhaust on this. I'll get into that in a later video. And then all these little things. There's also some, you know, aesthetic stuff I wanna do, but you know, we'll get to that. We'll get to all of that, you know, we got all the time in the world. This video is just a reveal of the car and why? <laughs> All my loyal subs who've been with me since the beginning, who like my, my, my motorcycle content, hope y'all stick around for car content as well. Oh, and also, I've never actually uh, said this on camera yet, but I hit a thousand subs uh, a while, like maybe like a month ago or something. Thanks. Thank you for all who's, who's followed me. That's a milestone right there. That is a milestone. Especially since I was on such a long hiatus. I had not you know, like, wow, that, that, that surprised me I'm not gonna lie so I'm um, thank you thank you thank all y'all who subbed I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys you know even though you you know follow me for my bike content will follow me on this car journey as well the real track dog car <laughs> thanks for watching please you know like this video if you liked it and if you want to stick around for uh, for more and perhaps you know see my journey in this in all this you know Hit that subscribe button, you know. Let's go on this journey together. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.